In addition to being skilled foster parents, Christine and Michael Barnett also owned a daycare center for kids in Westfield, Indiana. The couple was unaware, though, that they would eventually welcome a kid who would make their family the subject of the most incredible press stories. Welcome to Amazing Truth Channel. Do not forget to subscribe and activate the bell button to receive all new. Now go to the story. In May 2010, Barnett adopted a curly-haired girl named Natalia. The couple went through with the adoption even after learning that Natalia had a bone growth disorder called spondopedical dysplasia. This rare genetic disorder leads to stature and skeletal abnormalities and is considered a form of dwarfism. None of that mattered. Christine took in Natalia as one of her own. She confessed that she had always wanted a big family but had complications that hindered her from having more children. Additionally, Christine felt privileged and in the right position to help someone who needed a family. The couple only had 24 hours to complete their emergency adoption and were told they would get a six-year-old girl. The background information they received about Natalia was that she was born in 2003 in Ukraine and had been living in the U.S. for two years. The Barnetts were also told that her former adoptive parents had given her up for undisclosed reasons. Still, Christine and her husband did not have doubts and saw a child in need. Christine realized the child could not walk from her condition, but she reiterated out of compassion for their situation, I didn't want to press them for information on what had gone wrong. However, as the family got to know Natalia, some things were unusual, making them suspect something was wrong. When they brought Natalia home, Christine and her husband realized she was very nervous. So they decided to do some fun activities as a newly extended family. They went to Disneyland and spoiled her with ice cream and many other treats, slowly getting Natalia to open up. Michael and his wife also had two biological children and all went to the beach together. The mother remembered her sons running back from being in the water and Natalia wanting to also take a dip. She wanted to be carried into the ocean and her brothers asked if they could rest a little before going back in. But all of a sudden, Natalia stood up and walked into the water. The whole family was shocked and looked at each other in disbelief. But that was just the beginning of the unusual things about Natalia that got the family questioning her true identity. In addition, Christine recalled giving Natalia a bath and seeing that, strange for a six-year-old, she had pubic hair. She then began to reject baby dolls and preferred the company of teenage girls. Natalia's vocabulary, words too sophisticated for a six-year-old, was another red flag. One day, as Christine was delivering daughter to daycare, she recalled hearing Natalia remark, These kids are so tired. I'm amazed by your ability. This was an even more odd comment, as Christine remembered the tone as being that of a mother with children, even though Natalia was supposed to be a kid as well. Then she found clothes with blood in the trash, suggesting that Natalia might be hiding her period. Therefore, the questions about her identity started to haunt the Barnetts because she had also ditched the princess dresses for more grown-up clothing. Christine remembered that Natalia was from Ukraine and knew someone from the country. After she realized that Natalia did not have an accent, it was even more surprising when Natalia did not understand what was meant to be her native language. With time, Natalia's behavior worsened to the point where Michael and Christine's children were terrified of her. It was then revealed that Natalia was given her original birth date before she left Ukraine, but Natalia allegedly threatened to harm the family's children. Michael also revealed that Natalia once walked into their bedroom at night holding a knife. The family got into more detail about their experience in an upcoming documentary. Still, the clip showed their son Jake admitting to not feeling safe around his former adoptive sister. However, the real shocker was that Natalia was born in 1989, not 2003. Therefore, in 2012, Michael and Christine filed for her age to be changed from 8 to 22, which they were granted. The Barnett family decided to move to Canada where one of their sons was meant to start college, but they rented an apartment for Natalia in Indiana. Turning the tables, an investigation and arrests resulted from a lawsuit filed against Christine and Michael for allegedly abandoning a dependent. Nevertheless, the pair got divorced in 2019. When accused of abusing children, Christine defended herself by claiming that no children were harmed. 
She reiterated that Natalia was a grown woman with adult teeth. She also added she never grew a single inch, which would happen even with a child with dwarfism. The doctors all confirmed she was suffering a severe psychological illness only diagnosed in adults. In 2022, Michael and Christine were found not guilty. Nonetheless, the tale will be expanded upon in the forthcoming three-part series. If you like the story, surely the next video that's appearing on your screen will move you too. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, give us a thumbs up, and activate the notification bell so you won't miss any of our next videos. A huge kiss, and see you in the next story.